Hello, this is Chris Menard. I had a question from Michelle from Texas about writing a report in Word and having a cover page, a table of contents with different numbering, and then the actual document with one, two, three numbering. But the twist she threw is she wanted odd and even headers and footers, and you do that when you want to print two sided or duplex. And when you do that, the odd will be on the right and the even will be aligned to the left. So this is something you will probably need the rest of your career. So let me walk you through it. And I'm going to show you first what it's going to look like when we're done, which will take just 90 seconds, and then we'll actually run through it. So this is just me showing you real quick. So I have a 10-page document. It says Annual Report, page 1. No, no page numbers in the footer. I'm not dealing with headers right now. You could have put them in the header. Page 2, I wrote this page intentionally left blank. No page numbers in the footer. Page three is a table of contents page. And if you notice in the footer, I have a Roman numeral one. Page four, this page intentionally left blank. But if you notice, there's Roman numeral two and it's left aligned. So I'm gonna scroll back up one page. So once again, Odd will be to the right, even will be to the left. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, go grab a book and start thumbing through it in odder to the right and even to the left. So now I'm on page five. And if you notice, page one to the right and page two to the left. So let me show you how to create this. Start Word and give me a new document. The first thing to do, I have the word section in the bottom left corner, and you may not. Right click the word page. I'm going to turn it off first. Click back in my document. So here we go. Right click the word page. Left click the word section. Make sure it's checked. Click back in your document. You always have one section by default. It will always say section in whatever Word document you pull up now, which is actually good. Let's put in CP for cover page and press enter. Page two, control enter on the keyboard. I'll give you a page. This page intentionally left blank. I don't feel like typing, so I'm gonna just do this page. Press enter. Now, we're on page two of two, and it says section one. Go to layout. If you don't have layout, it probably says page layout. Breaks, section break next page. We have page three, but notice, and this is very important, that it says section two on your document. This is going to be the table of contents, so TOC, enter. Now, control enter will give you a page break. If your table of contents goes two pages, you're not going to type in this page intentionally left blank. But I'm going to assume that my table of contents, which is page three, is only going to be one page. So now, section two, page four, four. Breaks. Next page, section break. It should go to section three, which it did, page five. Equal symbol, R-A-N-D. Open parent. I'm just putting in some random text. Press enter. You'll get random text. Perfect. So we have a document with three sections. So we turned on the word section so we always see it. And now we have three sections. Control home will take you to the top. Cover page. Perfect. Scroll to the bottom. There's nothing in the footer. Page two. Is still part of the cover page section, which is section one, nothing there. Perfect. Page three, feel free to actually click. Click by TOC and you'll actually be on page three. Insert, footer. Let's just put in a blank footer for now. Perfect. Press the delete key and type text should go away. I'm gonna make sure you're with me. Section two, page three. Look over on the right, it says same as previous. You have to turn that off. 
Also turn on, this is where it got tricky with Michelle's question, turn on different odd and even pages. In fact, keep clicking it and notice, click it all you want to, notice it goes from footer to odd page footer. So make sure it's running. So here we go. Link to previous is off. Different odd and evens turned on. I want for page three Roman numerals in the right hand corner. Page number, format. Uh, I don't care honestly what you pick. If you don't want Roman numerals you can do ABC. Pick one but make sure you select start at and it puts in either one or a. Click on OK. Page number bottom of the page, left align, center, plane number three is right. Click it. There's my A or one. It doesn't matter. Go down to page four, click in the footer. My bad. So you have to click in the footer. I'll wait on you. Make sure it says page 4 7. Still says section 2. You still have to turn off link to previous. Page number, bottom of the page, plane number 1, because once again, odd is to the right, even is to the left. Go down to section 3, click. It probably has the number three. That's okay because it says link to previous. So press the delete key. Turn off link to previous first, then press the delete key. Get rid of that three. Now we want the actual number one because page five is the, the, the real meat of the document. So page number, format, make sure it says one, two, three. Start at, make sure you click it. Hit OK, page number, bottom of the page, plane number three. I hope you get a one. And then one more, and it's the last step. Go down to page six and click. So I always click to actually see the real page number. And there's the two already. Turn off link to previous, trust me, press your delete key, page number, bottom of the page, plane number one. You're still going to get a two, but just trust me on those steps. You got to turn off that link again. Close your header and footer. Control home if you need to, to get to page one. So here we go. Cover page. Should be absolutely no page numbers in the footer. Perfect. Page two. Perfect in the footer. Click on the TOC page, which is page three. Then go look in the footer. I hope you have a A or a Roman numeral one to the right. Go to page four and click. Make sure it says page two. Perfect. Then click in page number five, which is section three. There's a one. The next page should be two. Keep going, three. And just so you know this, look, I'm gonna click down here at the end and do control enter. We are in business, there's the four. So the key is this to put in, if you want different pages to be different numbers, or to start at different numbers, you have to do a section break. Feel free to call me for Microsoft Office training or send me an email. Thank you.